So what is Krita? Krita is a free open source illustration program. You can download it by going to krita.org. We're going to get the Windows version. It is maintained at Krita Studio. This is Kiki, their mascot. So Krita is really cool. Uh, it is designed for illustration right from the start. Uh, so if you don't have a tablet, maybe consider getting one. But you actually don't need it uh, because of some cool features in Krita. But it really sings with the tablet. Let's see, where's this tablet? Where's the center What? Uh, I think that is on the long term roadmap. There is also a. Uh, They're working on a version for the Mac. Yeah, the Mac version is also in transit. That would be nice. So, to some extent, you're going to have to imagine what this looks like with a tablet because we don't have a working pen here. Oh, sure, I have my watch on. Oh, bring it over. Tablet. Brand new. Portable. Just didn't get it because it was cheaper. Portable, that's the reason. I'm, I'm not poor. What are you guys like? Welcome tablet. It could be cheap. Yeah. cheap so this is installing. Here we have the Welcome tablet. Krita is actively developed. Uh, it's getting animation support in for 2D animation. Uh, and it's really, really fun. Uh, and I don't know. I'm just rambling while it installs. I can show you some work I've done with Krita. Did you say it has some animation support? Yes, it's getting 2D animation support. So it's going to have like a timeline and onion skinning and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's not in the Ah, yeah, but like it was just put to it was just pushed to trunk. So it should be there like uh, you know within a week or something. It was in the video. I remember that video. I did take it all move. That was right next to the No, Frida Booth was right next to the Thunder Oh, okay. It was all move constantly. Internet going so slow. Some of you may have seen this multiple times. What's slower, the internet or the installation? I'm just cursed today. Every time I step up to do a tutorial, the computer totally bails on me. Everyone else did great. Good job, guys.
does support vector. Um, it would be great if anything works on my computer. It has pads, but you have to individually. Yeah, I can show you. Hey. So here, when we open Krita, uh, we get your standard window. You can, it has lots of templates. Uh, I'm just going to select a nice big design template. You can, um, if you have something copied to the clipboard, you can have that be your starting document. And in this tutorial, we're going to start with cool stuff right up front. So, if I right click, right from the start you can see that Krita is designed for illustration. The first thing you get is a color palette with all your brushes, and also if I start drawing, it'll save uh, a memory of the main colors that I'm using in my scene. Let's start off talking about Krita's best mode, which is, first off I'm going to go to the sketch brushes. This is in the powerful brush editor of Krita. I gave this talk like 5,000 times at SIGGRAPH. And the sketch brushes are super, super cool. So for instance, I can select this one. And you can try out your brushes before you use them. Let's see, it's pretty, pretty nice look to it. And these sketch brushes are really fun because as I draw the stroke, it sort of remembers the stroke that's next door. Or it remembers the entire stroke. So as I draw, it's going like that. And then when I approach it, it tries to draw a connection to its previous stroke. So what's awesome about this is you can very quickly have uh, hard edges versus soft, especially with some of the better uh, sketch brushes. You build your own brushes. Yeah, you can. There's lots of ways you can modify it. So, like for instance, this one is another sketch brush. If I go slow and hard, the slower I go, the more ink it puts out. And the faster I go, and the lighter I go, um, the less ink it puts out. But it's remembering this entire stroke. I haven't lifted the pen off the canvas yet. So as I go, I can very quickly go from light to dark, which is uh, and have hard edges versus soft edges, which is normally one of the harder things to do in illustration. You can also turn on mirror mode. And this is great because it lets you just very quickly just bust out the face. Anyone here do 2D art at all? Sketchbook? Stuff like that? Very cool. Inkscape? That is really awesome. Yeah, you can not mess around with it really to find this out. Yeah, the mirror, the mirror modifier is dope. Also, uh, or have you shown them the thing that's really cool yet? Oh, the perspective or whatever. No, the uh, the thing that you the effects layer. Oh yeah, um, it supports lots of layer types. So, for instance. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to change my dockers to include layers. Oh, there's other. And I can add things like the vector layers. And so now, if I draw using the vector brush, oh, yeah. I'm going to put some vectors in here. And it's going to create these vectors on this layer, which is specifically designed for vectors. And now I can select that, and we can modify it, how it's working on this layer. So I can say the fill is a gradient, maybe a rainbow gradient, with uh, no lines. And now whenever I want, I can go back in and uh, edit that. Whee!
You can even do, it's complicated, but you can even do uh, the subtractive shapes like uh, you have in Illustrator. I think what you have to do is a, you start with a group layer. Um, then we're going to create inside of this group layer another vector layer. There are. Can you have a vector layer mask? Uh, yes. Uh, I think so. But so on this group, I'm going to set the fill. Oh, I thought it was selected. So I want the fill. Rainbow also. And now this group layer I can set to erase mode. And then it can erase from that. Let's delete all that. The ways that you can modify the brush engine are really, really fun. So this is one I showed a lot at Sigra, which is if you go to the pixel brushes, over here we have one of these is like a texture brush. So this one, it's got like a brick road. And you can see how it's following along your stroke. And it's pointing in the direction that you're drawing. The way it's doing this, if you look at its properties, is it has a size attribute that's mapped to pressure. So I draw light, I draw hard, and it gets bigger. The opacity is mapped to the same thing, I think. Yeah, pressure. And the rotation is set to drawing angle. I'm going to turn on the size attribute, I'm going to turn perspective on and turn off pressure. And this is really fun. I'm going to turn mirror off and I'm going to add a perspective grid with the ruler tool. I was talking about the uh, like the. Oh, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Well, now with this brush selected, it's going to. Oh, I want assistant turned on also. We can now draw our strokes into perspective. Pretty cool, right? And you can just make the grid bigger. You have problems with going off that. So. Yeah. Uh, Does your brush snap, snap to that to the grid? Yeah. Um, the assistant made it like try and snap to the grid. Another cool thing you can do is filter layers, which can uh, let you sort of paint procedurally with a cool effect. So I'm going to go into the artistic filters, turn on uh, oil paint, the setting of 10 pixels. And so now you can see it's causing this cool fil filter, but it'll update in real time as I draw. So I can say. Here I'll see. One more. You can see how it's modifying it a little bit. Where's the sketch brushes? Oh, the sketch brushes, how oh, I love them. Actually, the particle brushes are really fun too. The particles. Yeah. Um, particle brushes are usually just. Uh, at least they can. It has uh, all of Inkscape's brushes, doesn't it? It has all, all of uh, my paint's brushes. Yeah, it has all my paint's brushes. Um, you can see how this creates like a pretty instant cool filter. That is really awesome. It's a bit slow. Yeah, I mean the the canvas size is huge. It's like three thousand or something. It's also nice that they have the preview screen. Very quickly. What else is cool in Krita? Oh, uh, the uh, tile. Oh yeah, tile textures are cool. Um, if you do 3D stuff and you need, uh, this is where I use it with Blender a lot. 
um, tiling textures or something that you use in the 3D lab. You can hit W and it turns on wraparound mode. Oh, I have to turn on OpenGL. Oh, so it creates um, the same. Oh, you'll see. Same size. Yeah. 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 Y
You can use that on any flash, right? Yeah. Um, so we can go in with that. With, uh, the curved brush. So this brush is really fun. And now it's using the Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think um, the dragon mass always assumes like it's based on the um, size of your tablet, not the size of your canvas. Um, you can also do this, which is super fun. What is that? That's this is the yeah. radial brush, the radial symmetry brush. Once again, that's not every brush. Yeah. We can use it on some of these weird ones. All these experimental ones do really cool stuff. Let's try the grid brush. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna try like nineteen seventy. Anyways, Creed is really awesome. I love it. Um, you should use it instead of lessons. Yeah. Stasta comes to see bugs all the time. He uses Creed instead of Blender. We never learned anything no, about this Blender. Is, this is why I had such a bad time today. Is I kept showing things that weren't Blender. Luminance and how to use your camera and Hugin and Creta. This is false advertisement. Creed is kind of It can be used with Blender. So, you know, it's part of a Blender pipeline. And, you know, so are the other two. You can also increase the number of axial points. Right? Cool stuff. 